The painting I chose is Hercules and Oculus by Cornelius van Harlem in the Netherlands in 1590. I chose this painting because of the sheer size of both the bull and Hercules. The oil paint used really made them pop and caught my eye. This painting consists of both Mannerist and Baroque style, as it was painted right in between these two periods. This could help explain both the way the figures are shaped with the idolized bodies and large muscles on Hercules, but also the dark and light nature of the painting. The outside of the painting is very dark in terms of consisting of lots of black and gray. In the middle of the painting, one can see both the light orange nature of the bull, along with the pale nature of Hercules. Both colors are very distinguishable, and even highlighted. To truly understand what is going on in this painting, one has to understand both Hercules' life and what was occurring in the Netherlands at the time. Hercules is the Greek god of valor, hardiness, endurance, and adventure. He was ordered to fulfill twelve labors, usually involving defeating or stopping an arch nemesis of his. Stopping Oculus is the last battle of his life, and that is what is depicted in the forefront of the painting. What viewers might not see, unless they look closely, is that in the background, Hercules is killing two more nemesis, Antaeus and the Lernanian Hydra. One also needs to know about what was going on between the Netherlands and Spain during this time. The three battles in this painting probably depicted three resistances to Catholicism that did not work. The final battle between Hercules and Oculus would assimilate to the end of conflict and reign of Spain in the Netherlands. Just to the right of Hercules, there are three nymphs filling up a Cornucopia, which could be seen as a treaty at the end of the dispute with victory belonging to the Spanish and the Catholic faith. All in all, going with more Mannerist style than Baroque showed Spain and the Catholics as victors versus the Protestant Netherlands. Despite being Dutch and painting mostly portraits and biblical or mythological paintings, there is no way Van Harlem painted this without there being any historical meaning or context behind it.